Okay, boys and girls. So, um, the last video got cut short. Jack's okay. Don't worry. Um, but I need to do the worksheets with you guys. I want to show you what your options for today are. Okay. So I am including these in your packet. So if you guys want to have these, you can practice them. Um, sliding, if you have anything that shape at home, sliding it, stacking it, seeing what you can do. Okay. The first worksheet for about shapes is going to be this one right here. And what it's asking you to do is it's asking you to color in the shapes that can do what it's asking. So this first one, sorry, I gotta grab a marker really quick. This first one is asking which shapes roll, okay? Does a sphere roll? Yeah, we know that one, that one's easy. What about the cylinder? Does that roll? Remember, it doesn't like this, but if I put it on its side, I can roll it. Okay, so yes, a cylinder can roll. Can a boxed present roll? No. What about a soccer ball? Yeah. Can a log roll? I mean, it's a cylinder shape, right? And it's on its side. So it could roll on its side, yes. What about a party hat? Can a party hat roll? Yes. Remember, this is the one that I tell you it'll kind of roll itself in a circle, but yes, it can roll if you put it on its side. So your job is to color all the ones that roll. If you think you can stack it, you can color it here. Can you stack these shapes on top of each other? If you think yes, color it in. This last one is if you can slide it. If you can push it and give it a slide, then you can call it a slide, okay? spheres don't, I mean, we can slide it, but really they end up rolling before we can slide them. They roll. So anything that can slide, stack, or roll, you need to color. Okay? That's your first one about shapes. Then you have two review worksheets you can choose from, okay? Do you have to do them? No. Is it good practice? Yes. The number of the day is 12. So the first thing you're gonna do after writing your name is practice your 12, a one top to bottom. And it's two candy cane shoe. Really practice making them go from top to bottom. Even your number two should be nice and big, okay? Then you gotta find the number 12 and color it in. Okay? Now they wanna know 10 and what makes 12. 10 and how many more to make 12. So I'm gonna put my finger on 10 and count to get to the 12. 10, 11, 12. There's two more. 10 and two make 12. So now I need to color in 12 on my 10 frame. Three, four, five. I know this is 10, so I'm gonna start by, I don't even have to count them. I can just color in a whole 10 frame because I know it's 10. Then I need to count on to get to 12. 10, 11, 12. Then I want to practice my rainbow writing. And remember, rainbow writing is stripey. It is not coloring it in, okay? Want to get lots of different colors and make it stripey, okay? That's a choice worksheet. You do not have to do this one. If you would like a different practice for today, this one says cross out or add shapes to make all of them 10. Okay, so we need to make every one of these 10. Are you ready? First one, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that 10? No, it's smaller than 10, so I need to add more until I get to 10. So we're gonna start with nine. Put nine in your head and count on till we get to 10. Nine, 10, oh, that's it. That was easy, I just had to add one more. Now I'm gonna come down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You want to give all of these ten. Now, if they have more than ten, let's jump down here. This one looks like it has a lot in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh, it has more than ten. So I'm gonna cross out those two extras because I don't want them, I only want 10, okay? So those are your worksheet choices for today. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's it, thanks.